Hello everyone. Welcome to round two. Yes, two. Let's begin, shall we? This hand seems good. Turn one. Elf, or human. <laughs> druid, turn one druid. Are they all druids? No, they, we have a bird. Damn it. Tur turn one mana dork. <laughs> just very unfair mana cards are just very unfair like there's a lot of un time there's a lot of unfair stuff in magic but see this one can actually cast a time walk yeah i was hoping we'd actually draw the time walk there just for shits and giggles right. but so now we have access to five mana on turn uh turn three that's pretty good right could be. Oh, he's matching. He's he he's he's matching pace for pace right now. Here's is also a ramp card though. Oh. Ooh, do we just do that? Yeah, we just do that. Boop. Plus. Go go beast power. Activate beast mode. <laughs> right? I think that's a thing that you can say. Uh, I don't know, man. Harmonize. Harmonize just doesn't quite do the same thing, you know? Harmonize doesn't make an in ever-increasing trail of, uh, three threes. Oh, that's a Karn. Wow. For next turn, I suppose? Make another beast? Four ball. Got this Urza. Yeah, play Urza, make an extra guy. Like, I, he's gonna have to do something really good to get out of this. Like, really good. Like, it has to be pretty darn spectacular at this point, I think. Plague Wind? I mean, nah, he fetched a green. That, that is no Plague Wind. No. That one's not going to do it. Plus. <laughs> Urza gets in there for value. I mean, he just blocks there, but whatever. Oh, I suppose he just kills the token. Ah, whatever. We didn't need the token. Had to get in for one. That increased the clock by one turn. Go, Karn, go. Um, I feel like I'm just exiling this. Oh, it's oh yeah. That seems good. No splash color for you. <laughs> Sets him back a mana. Says, no splash color for you. And then next turn, Garrick makes five six sixes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hurry. That was a thing. So, versus the mono green deck. Do we do we bring in threads of disloyalty on the chance that we steal like his turn one mana dork? That's a thing. I mean, we didn't do it last time. He was green too. Well, but last time, we, he didn't show us mana dork on turn one. Like, the, he's playing the ramp deck like we are. I think we can probably yeah, cut, yeah. like, Cobra for this. Cobra is good, but it's our slowest, weakest ramp card. Because we don't have fetches, so. Okay. Um, Progenitor Mimic could be a card in this matchup, too, because he's probably got big-ass creatures, you know? Yeah. What if we take out... Urza, maybe? I don't know. I already hit submit, so we have to make a decision quick if we're going to do it. Maybe one of the Nissa, uh, the Nissos, maybe? Nissa or mm -hmm. Vivian? Uh, I suppose Vivian, Vivian for that. Yeah, because Vivian actually, now that I look at it, the best, I mean, yes, it does fetch these in theory, but it's most likely just hanging lands half the time. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Alright. Well, this one's a mulligan. Alright. Mulligan. This one's not all that great, but sort of body and mind's really good. Probably just put Garrick on the bottom. Okay. So, like, turn one, draw noble high arc, kick butt. Win. That's the goal. And draw forest. Whatever. Is that a snake? I don't know what that is. It's a Kamigawa creature, so it's probably a snake. Over time, Kondo grew ever more suspicious. Eh, maybe, I don't know. It's a, it's a nothing. Nissa. Yeah, that's a Nissa. But can that Nissa beat a sort of body in mind? The answer is probably not. Probably not. Sort of body in mind. <laughs> uh, right. I guess we don't we don't attack because we want to have a carrier for our sword. Yeah. Um, I'm debating between Oracle Moldia next turn, or just like equip sword search for tomorrow. It's probably just search for tomorrow. Use the two mana to equip sword because we can just pay the full value on search for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, definitely doing it now. Yeah, he's drawing a lot of cards, so. Harmonize to discard a card. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Discards forest. Okay. So, search for tomorrow. Cast. We'll just fetch an extra blue with it. And equip. And start the jank em out plan. When in doubt, jank em out. That extra rhymes. Yep, <laughs> no slaughter packs. Got em. Mill 10 cards. It's so disgusting. So, Signet Garrick, Signet Crater Hoof, Beast Whisperer, Woodfall Primus. What were they thinking when they printed this card? Mill 10 cards. Yeah, that seems limited playable. Yeah. I mean, it's going to hit him one more time and then his deck's going to basically be empty. Yeah. Was there... There wasn't... Oh. Okay. okay. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, we we kind of accidentally fueled him into that. I did not expect him to be playing on burial rights. Huh. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's the thing. I think we're still okay. What? I think we're still okay. I think we're still fine. Um, I'm gonna play Oracle. And then I can play Birds. After going land, bird. And Ooze gets to eat whatever, um whatever he can't actually flash back on barrel rights, so. Mm -hmm. So he's not getting his crater hoof through that. We are just randomly taking six, though, which is not great, but not the end of the world either. Hmm. A lot of thinking going on over there, though. He is in the tank. <laughs> the tank is slightly overflowing. Just a little. Not a lot. Just a little. Yeah, hitting that forest is really key there. Oh, yeah, on the on the Oracle? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, if if we didn't hit the forest, we just wouldn't have played the um, birds, basically, is how it goes, right? Yeah. So. Mana dork, mana dork. Those are some mana dorks. 
rolled in for six, which makes sense. So six ball. And a turn, eat. Actually, probably just eat the freaking barrel rights, right? Oh, what does he got? I can't really see. Crit uh, Crater Hoof and Beast Whisper. Is this creatures? So if we just eat this, it gets rid of the entire situation. If we eat Crater Hoof, we gain a life. And we get a little bit bigger ooze. Which could matter. Um... Okay, I'll eat Crater Hoof this turn. I think that's fine. Because, I mean, we have the mana to eat more stuff next turn if we need to, right? Mm -hmm. So, oh. so based off of that, I'm just playing <laughs> Urza now. Yep. And then I'm going to just, um, while it's just here, I'm just going to eat this and just get rid of it. Just so I don't have to pay attention to it anymore. <laughs> Honestly, that's the entire reason why I'm getting rid of it. It's just so I don't have to pay attention to it. Uh, this gets in, this gets in. He just takes five. Huh, that is interesting. I was not expecting the random sword just jank. Whoops, accidentally give him a woodfall primus. Right. But... Still, I agree. What were they thinking? How can that even be considered limited playable? Right. Makes a 4-4. Four, four. Sure. Okay. Having the ability to see the top with Urza is kind of disgusting as well. Right, because you can choose whether or not to use his ability. Yeah, that's disgusting. I mean, to be fair, Urza's ability shuffles first, but... Oh, sure, sure. I I forgot it shuffles. Yeah, it does shuffle first. Lame. Shuffle our deck or lose? Seven mana. Gunter? Yeah. I mean... Sure. I've been... mm, Garrick's decent. Super big Garrick. I mean, it's a good card. I just don't know if it does enough here. You know? Like, we get to go Time Warp Harmonize. Um, he's got a lot of big creatures over there. I won't won't lie about that. We actually uh, can take his Ashaya with Threads of Disloyalty, which is kind of cute. Right. So, we get to eat stuff, too. Yeah, so we'll eat the Beast Whisper. Just gain an extra life. It was a little bigger. Uh, Probably something else too. No? We oh we we could have, but there's no creatures, so I mean, for time going value or something. That's fair, I suppose. Uh, so cast this. Hey, guess what? We just time warped. Do the time warp, <laughs> or sorry, the time walk. Do the time walk. It's like a music thing, right? I think. Um. Well, we definitely gotta harmonize here. Because we have Urkel. Right, right. So we harmonize. So we want to... We want to leave... A, yeah, we want to leave... Um, we'll just tap this. That's fine. Uh, wrong. Wrong. There we go. <laughs> so harmonize. Did not hit Lance. Did not hit Lance. Did hit a Rattleclaw Mystic, which is kind of like a land. Sort of. Drawing consecrated things is interesting. Um okay. Still no lands. Okay, um hmm. So we could play Karn to plus, he'll just give us that probably. But it still gives us the best chance to try to get more lands off of our deck here. I think is what we want. Play Karn. Plus. We get Forest or Overgrown Battlement. Probably just gives us Overgrown Battlement would be my guess. But gives us Forest. 
Noble Hierarch on top of the deck. Jeez, okay. Alright, um... Hmm. I guess I can play Garrick and draw four? Try to keep just going off, kind of? You know? Could have also played Consecrated Sphinx. That might have been the right call. Hmm. Oh well. Do like to reconsider it now. Let's just kind of keep going off a bit. There's an Avenger. That's going to be good. Alright. So I play this Noble Hierarch. Um, we don't get to attack this turn. We just kind of have to survive. And since he doesn't have a Crater Hoof to finish this off, we should be able to. Then we go... Avenger, make a crap ton of plants, and if Oracle of Moldia is still around, we just pump the plants like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Seems pretty decent. I think we're still pretty well in this right now. And even if Oracle of Moldia is not around, we can go Avenger... Actually, I think we have enough mana to go Avenger, Progenitor, Mimic, Avenger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Because it's 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need one. So, if Oracle of Maldaya is around, we get to go Avenger, land, grow those ones, Progenitor Mimic, land, <laughs> grow everything again. I like, it. I like it. And since he just killed off Karn, I don't care about that. That's just useless. So, we just gotta survive for the turn. And then we just can't die I think I would be hard pressed to see us die at that point you know yeah the crater hope's already gone it's not many just kill you things left I mean he might have terastodon here but that's not a just kill you thing okay that's interesting they floated the mana before doing that I don't know what he's looking for at this point. I have a feeling it's like prime time here, maybe? And that we just kind of shrug at. Finality. Ooh. Okay. Um, well, that's pretty dang good. Hmm. We don't have access to any more green, unfortunately. Yeah, that's, um, I mean, what's putting it on that? So that's going to survive, so he's going to have two power, or four power left over for the turn. That was a lot better. I was not expecting that. That, that was very good. That was very good. Um. Well, we have Progenitor Mimic for Primus. We can also steal that. I think we got enough to do both, right? Right. So we can steal the Ashaya. Yeah, so we play Progenitor Mimic. Right. Kill Garrick. Play Progenitor Mimic. We copy Woodfall Primus. We kill Garrick. We play Land, Threads of Disloyalty on Ashaya, and get a tapped 6-6, six, six, but it's still a tapped 6-6. Six, six. It's mm -hmm. still 6-6 six, six is what I'm trying to say. Alright. And then we... Uh, unfortunately we have to well so it'll come back with a persist counter but then it'll have to copy something we have because it'll go on top of his on the stack right what is this terastodon maybe I get the feeling this is like a terastodon coming down here because he seemed like he just want He's playing Unburial Rites in his deck, which is interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. That's... That is so weird. Just, like... Huh. Because he doesn't have any ways to, like, mill himself or anything, right? Yeah, yeah. Just, only, only through us. Only Ooh. just randomly by s g getting hit with a sword. The random hedge against sword. Huh. That's just so weird. Seems good. You know, I agree it seems good. It just confuses me. Also, he's down to seven cards in his stack. Vivian Reed to blow up threats. That's, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, 
I don't know how this is gonna go down. This is gonna be awkward. Cause this has to block here, which really kinda sucks. Cause of how this triggers are gonna stack. So our guy persists and then becomes an elf? And a Shia? I guess we'd rather have three threes. No, they're the, legendary. It's four four. So what what happens is though we get to kill off his one so his Vivian Reed doesn't get it back. Sure. Yeah, I guess that's probably Ah, uh, I keep this one. <laughs> this is so silly. It's like complete junk. <laughs> then he just blows up land because he can. It's really weird how it's like in gold text and everything like that. That's strange. And I guess we upgrade it to a three three. <laughs> right, right. When when the to when the else? when the token comes out, we upgrade it to a four four. Yeah. Right. So Vivian comes down. Like if he just keeps plussing both of his guys and taking cards, he will deck himself. That was a deep shot. Because we're gonna play yeah. Avenger, get eight la eight guys, and then give them all make them all one twos. So. I mean, that's pretty darn good. Jason Mind Sculptor's pretty good too, but a little less potent than just going Avenger, make eight one twos. Because now okay. we're pretty well defended. And he's at six cards left in his deck. Five cards left in his deck. So, like, he can't actually get to the point where he pluses his Nissa to the point where it wins. Avacyn's Pilgrim, okay. Sure. He's just grabbing cards. Okay, grabs an Oracle oh. Moldaya. Sure. There's a Garrick in his deck still. Sure. Like, I don't care. That's the thing. Huh. Because, like, I just throw a bazillion plants in front of this Woodfall Primus. <laughs> All of them. Basically, yes. Yeah. The actual octo block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was kind of expected at that point, right? So. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you all in the finals.